Happy Father's Day, Dad. What are we about to do? Yeah, pumps of mine. That's what we're going to do on Father's Day. What pumps of mine? What, what's, what's on the menu? Back and buys. Back and buys. Back and buys. Oh, hey, hey, man. Come on, man. Let's see what you got, man. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's the good one. Okay. Uh, if you ever played Lawn Dark, you know what it is. Uh, if you ever get outside the house playing video games, uh, you do a yard game, you might know what it is. But that, hold on. That's sunshine in your body. That's why you wouldn't be so pale. But that. Okay, that, but that, nothing. But you that's got, what it is. You're a black man with a red headed. Is he supposed to be a, a pirate? He's a red stepchild. He got he got an Hey man. What do you call that thing that you're wearing right now? Pump cover. So they, no no not I'm talking about the gray thing. That's like a hoodie, like a sweatshirt. Pump cover. Is that what the the hoodie sweatshirt with, with the arm cut off? You see what it is? It's a, it's a, it's a pump cover. Oh, okay. Yeah, pump Alright, it's a pump cover. We finna see the pump. Once you uncover. Sir. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. We're not that kind of 24 hour gym, sir. Oh, you're not? No, sir. I was working out. I just laid down here for a minute. Sir, you've been here for a minute now, sir. Well, yeah. I got 24 access, it says. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, so what's the problem? You're not allowed to be here for 24 hours it's straight. It's a 24 hour gym. Yes. I got a membership. That's correct. Okay. This isn't a hotel, though, sir. You can't I'm not, sleep. I'm not trying to, I'm not getting bed. I'm just resting. <laughs> You have a set. pillow and you're laying down. I'm resting for my next. Have set. you been drinking today, sir? <laughs> drinking protein and creatine. Uh, have you been? I hope you're paying for that protein and creatine, sir. Yes, I did. I marked my name down on the Iowa U paper. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dad. 2022. Now, me and you have had all kinds of good times. Personally, me, I learned experiences from you. But it's supposed to be that way. We're family. However, you know, over the course of what you do, you've had a great impact on plenty of people, aside from the antics. First of all, him you up. should have known he wasn't saying. Yeah. I've impacted positively numerous people. Here are a few of those people and their story about you. Hey, good morning. My name is Scott. I'm 72 years old. I'm living proof that you have to get older, but you don't have to get old. Courtesy of Mr. John, I'll tell you that. When I came here, I was a mess. I was diabetic and 50 pounds overweight. Couldn't do 10 push-ups. Now I'm doing 100 push-ups and my weight's down to 180 and I'm no longer diabetic. That's due to Mr. John. You know, Big John here where um, he's a little softer on me. He still kind of does the tough love thing as well. Um, you know, he, he, I never had a grandpa in my life, so I mean, I feel like he kind of fills that role in a way to where I can, you know, have someone even older to relate to in some aspects of life and then still have him teach me lessons that I could use later on in life, um, especially in the gym world and, you know, maybe in the future. Uh, I can use those resources and you know, run my own gym as well. Our personal interactions that we have are pretty much every time I see him, we're always talking about um, either something with the business or just something with life or just how to treat people, how people are in general. So every conversation is always a positive one and always something that I cherish. My car broke down in the middle of the street, then he came out to, to get me. He... Um, he, he popped the car, the front of the car off of my tire. It was all crushed onto my tire. So he's like, ah, ah, and then I could drive. Life-changing experience I had with Big John was I was in a bad place at one point and I was thinking about going into the military. And then John gave me another option of going out with him and living with him uh, up in Nashville and running a gym with him. And that really taught me or it changed my mindset when it came to business, when it came to how to run a gym, how to run anything. And it made me mature to where I was a lot more ready to do what I wanted to be taking me out of my bubble. So when I first met him, I've never really been outside of the state too much, or I've always kind of been under my little bubble, being in the room at my parents. 
and he really helped me experience new things I thought I'd never experienced. I thought I'd always live in Arizona all my life and end up living in Nashville for four years, or four months. Oh. <laughs> it felt like four years sometimes, but it was four months. And uh, I wouldn't be able to do any of that without him. So about a month before I met Big John, I'd been praying for someone to come into my life to help me become a better personal trainer, to mentor me, and also an avenue to compete on stage. And a month later, I walked into All Time Fitness and Big John was there, and he was all those things for me and more. Um, he helped me compete on the stage for the first time, and I will forever be grateful for that. Well, John's my best friend now, you know? He and I have been through a lot, and I would have quit if it wasn't for Mr. John. So <laughs> I'm living proof that, you know, you can lead the good life with the help of a good friend. Uh, I was in a tough spot where I didn't want to work my prior job, as well as um, helping me get into personal training as well, because um, I never thought I would be able to be at that point, and I found a career out of it that I want to pursue later on into the future. Encouragement, uh, training, we were training at 4.30 or 4 in the morning, so um, making sure that I knew that I could do it just to keep pushing and uh, leave all the baggage outside the gym, just try to come in with a positive mindset. So yeah, just give me the ability to continue. One of my most positive experiences I had with Big John was a couple days before my show, I remember being super hungry and I was like, man, I'm gonna go get myself a salad. And as soon as I got back, Big John was waiting there on the couch for me and he said, He's like, he chewed me out. He's like, what are you doing? Are you giving up on us? We haven't given up on you yet. And I remember sitting there being so mad and frustrated. Like, why can't I have this salad? And uh, looking back on it, it was one of the most positive things he's done for me because it really taught me that I can push through and I can persevere through things. Forming me as a person who I want to be when it comes to my mentality and knowing that I have a lot more to give. So there was a lot of times, say, where I kind of just didn't want to work out, where I wanted to give up. And when that, that comes to working out, that comes with just life in general. And uh, always seeing Big John working out with him, hearing the stories he had in his life, it kind of really made me realize my life has meaning to it. And if he, if Big John could get through everything he's got to to be where he is in his life, then I definitely could do the same. And for that, John, I thank you. And for all those things, John, I thank you. And for that, John, thank you. Mr. John, I thank you. And for that, John, I thank you. People always want to ask me what I'm made out of, what I can do with my life, where I got it from, who helped me become the man I'm supposed to be. This will be my answer. Just do my answer for that.